Good right, uh, morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today, the girls got out of bed and ran out of the barn in literally seconds. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna be late. Yesterday, Ruby ate burrs. Hi, Ma. They left everything for you? Aww. There's some Sour Patch Kids. There's some other kind of gummies. Aww. I texted Nick, thanks for the chips. Oh, good job. He's the best brother. So last night my youngest son came to visit and hang out with his friends. Basically, he has friends from work that he always wants to hang out with and spend time with and play cards with, but his wife is having a baby and he has a baby and none of them want to like, even though they're a part of a core group at work, none of them want to like take each other into their family's lives because of COVID. So, so when that happens and they want to hang out, they call me and they come to our house because they can come and have a fire or hang out in our trailer or just like hang out together outside, if that makes sense. So the last time they came, Sophie went down in the morning and she found chips at the fire. And last night, because there's a fire ban, they ended up playing cards at the table in the trailer and they left so much stuff. That's why Sophie was down here at the crack of dawn. She woke up, threw this little dress I was on. I down here like 10 minutes earlier than Gabby. Yeah, like you guys beat me today. Good job. Stop! Oh, Finn got a new bite from Chino. Finn got a new bite from Chino? Hey now! Too small, where is it? Uh, on his neck. On his neck? Better than his hip. Yeah, we're gonna get that fixed. When the chiropractor comes, she's coming probably next week. Chino's taking after Storm lunging at Finny. Is he? Like, Storm lunges now. Like, the fact that we separate them, I don't think is even that good because then Storm gets so mad and is like, I will be the boss. Like, it's like he has to be the boss again but every single day. less cuts. Yeah, less serious cuts. So, it's just Maybe a... put him in with the boys every other night. No, I think he should stay on his own at night. He's happy on his own, so not a big deal. He and likes his shelter. Yeah, and soon, yeah, he does like his shelter. And soon they're going to a new barn, so mm -hmm. I don't want it to be all fresh and new and they're just meeting each other again. He's only fine because he has his shelter. Yeah, he loves his shelter. The boy is a diva. Isn't he a diva, though? He probably gets so mad at them at night because they're like, dang having fun. Yeah, he has been a diva since day one. Now we have to pack for the class. Yeah. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are getting ready for the clinic. Like I know it's a clinic, but it's like a show for us. I also found another show for us to go to. The show that we're supposed to go to next weekend possibly will get canceled due to lack of numbers. If that happens, I found us another one to go to. So don't worry, there will be show videos. But this weekend is a big weekend. Like I am so super excited about it. All right, so Gabby has to get ready for this clinic. Yeah, everything. I was looking like, where is all of our stuff? Has not been being hung up back again. You think you're gonna bring the tack trunk? Yes. Yeah, she wants to pack her tack trunk. Will it fit? Uh, I guess it'll fit in our truck, right? And in Kaylee's trailer too. Oh yeah, even if she brings hers. Mm, okay. Because it fits in the truck even with the trailer attached. Okay. Wow, this is Sophie's haul. That's a big haul. You are not eating yeah. all this. Yeah, that's why some of it's going to be for... You can have a little... Yeah, you can have... Half of each thing. Right, and it's going to take a lot of days They're to eat all half this. empty. That's fine. That's like... You only need that many chips anyways. You have to ride in a hairnet? Mm -hmm. But what if you just braided your hair? No, I have to ride in a hairnet. Oh. Fiona says. Oh, Fiona says? Fiona. I'm going there depending on... If everybody else is wearing a hairnet, yeah. or most of the people are, then they're wearing it. But that's like none of them are. Yeah, sometimes when you don't know what to do, you do what everybody else does. When you go to Rome, you do what Rome does. But anyways, 
So the thing about the clinic is it is being held at our old barn, like our second barn that we ever went to. So we spent most of our years there. Like we spent more years there than we ever did with Fiona, I think. We're about the same now. So we know the barn, we know the people, we know like where it's familiar to us, but it's on a big, huge hill. And because there's not a lot of parking up there, so we're gonna be parking on the ground at the bottom entrance, and then we're gonna hike, hack up the hill. So that's gonna be interesting. We're gonna have to like tack up, get ready down at the bottom, then go up and to the, do the warm up. We're gonna be able to watch the other groups if we want to. We're gonna be able to like, it's gonna be an interesting day, two days. So we go into our tack room. Can we go into our tack room? There are tack rooms. No, no, no outsiders are allowed in the barn. Because of COVID, they want to keep like... Isn't the thing in the indoor? No, it's outside. Okay. I've never seen their outdoor room. Well, they do. Yes, you've seen their outdoor. Remember, it's behind the barn. barn. Yeah. It's behind the barn. It was just this little small arena, but they just built it bigger. It's going to be brand new. Well, I've never seen anyone riding it. Well, that's because you were kind of small. What are you doing? What exactly are you doing? Cleaning with Oh, so you're getting water and Kleenex? Mm -hmm. Cleaning. Do you want a wet washcloth? Yes. I am going to let Gabby clean her tack trunk and get packed up. Don't forget your gloves. And I'm going to let her do that and I'm going to go clean up the poop in the arena and the mare's stall because that's what I do first thing in the morning. Field. Sophie's going to just be walking around with her bag of loot. <laughs> Before I forget, you guys might have already seen that Gabby got her spurs back last night for the first time. Yes, in a while. In a long time. These are Fiona. Since like last year. Yeah, like, and the last time she tried spurs, people were losing their minds over it. But anyways, Gabby got her spurs back. Last time I used to wear those spurs like all the time. They are Fiona approved. Fiona's teaching Gabby how to work with them. Brandon will be teaching Gabby how to work with them. Or maybe Brandon will make her take them off. I don't know. They do do things differently sometimes. But anyway, her spurs are back. There will be lots of teaching. I know we're going to get a lot of comments saying, get those spurs off. But this is, this is I think, what Fiona's thinking will help Gabby and Storm go a little bit further in their education. I feel like this is the first time, now that we fixed Storm's feet, this is the first time that she's actually getting to be an active participant on that horse. It's the first time she's learning to really ride him. And you guys will know that we don't wear spurs just to wear spurs for fun. We don't wear them with any of our other horses. She's I was just able to get them. off Chino. Yeah, Sophie rode Chino sort of yesterday. We'll explain more later. Hello, pretty girl. She smells your treat, Sophie. You got cobwebs in your in your hair. I love this look. I love, I mean, it's too bad they have to put their head up so high to get over top of it, but I love a pony coming to see what's going on. Well, Did you give her a Sour Patch Kid? No, we didn't give them. We'll go give them. Right, let's see. Sour Patch Kids for the ponies. Thank Nick for it. Yeah, she says, thank you. It's so good. <laughs> it's yum. Well, we know Willa will like it. She likes everything. She's what? She winning to you? Yeah, like it's just such a shock. It amazes me every single day to see the relationships that my kids have with their horses. It just blows my mind to see this little pony <laughs> saying, give me more, give me more. Like she will walk up to Sophie and she will go to Sophie before she'll go to anybody else. Oh, well now she's coming to me because she thinks I got the food. I do not have any. She wants a kiss from you guys. She's like, ah, oh, she loves her sugar. She like, kiss them, kiss them. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you smiling at them? Consider that a willow kiss. Consider that your first willow kiss. Gabby lost her hunter shirt. Ah! Gabby! Really so all this time you lost your hunter shirt and you didn't know where it was. Why didn't you tell me? I would have helped you find it. Like how I found your AirPods. This is a large. This is Sophia's. Oh. So is yours missing too? Yeah. Oh. This is my favorite part of the day. It's the part of the day where the girls call the boys. When the girls call the boys, see if they come running. And Molly's good. She's got her, her best friend, Hula Hoop. <laughs> this is her favorite thing. She's so funny with it. She, she runs it with her body inside of it. Oh. Gabby's going for the treats. Because as you can see, there's not a horse to be seen. The, the horse that always comes first is Chino. Okay. 
Or and once Finny sees the chinos come in, then he comes. Come on, boys! Come on! Come on! Storm! First one who always comes is that thing. Yeah. Tina! I'm having my coffee. Leave me alone. All right, let's go to the top of the hill. Debbie's got all the stuff. Oh my goodness, where are they? Oh, there they are. Do I see one? Yeah, I saw a tail moving. All right, I see Finny. Tina, storm! Shake the bucket. Mm, I can smell them. Oh, here comes Chino. One's on the move. Here comes Finny. Uh oh, watch out. Oh gosh, we're standing. Ah! <laughs> standing behind Gabby. Holy crap! Stop! <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys, these are our horses. Hold these. Gotta get masks on first. She knows, like, I am. She knows, like, I'm getting the bucket. <laughs> He's standing on the road. Hold on. Okay, give him another. And then grab Storm. To get fly sprayed. Oh. I gotta get out of here for this. I know, they're only getting fly sprayed. I'm like, Look at that big grass sticking up to Chino's belly. <laughs> Hold on, Chino. Give him one, because he, he did good. Wait, your turn. Oh, fly spray. That's the first time I ever stood in a field with charging horses. I should not be the one holding the treats. Take the treats. Because it's not my favorite. Look at good boy Storm. Give him some treats because he did great. And he wasn't being pushy. See? Alright. Yeah, because Finn is not a lover of fly spray. Storm, hold on. Here. All right, let's go. Let's make a run for it. Wait a minute, wait, <laughs> I just realized something. How are we getting out of here? Go, that's it, go, <laughs> go away. How are we getting out of here? Because we've got the bucket. Makes me, uh oh, I'm running for it. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, they're not charging me, so it's good. Oh, that was so much fun. These are the days I want to remember forever. Today I stood in the middle of a field with my girls and shook, shook a bucket of treats. And all the horses came charging at us and we just stood there. Gabby's like, get away from us. Don't come at me. Love that handsome boy. They're like, we're out of here now. You guys are too much trouble. Uh-oh. Storm, do not lunge. Don't chase Finn. Hopefully we just arrived at laying season and two want to lay on top of each other because I do not want any more broody hens. There better not be any more broody hens. Could you just lay? No. But they kicked an egg out here. That's odd. Okay, so I spent this whole entire morning getting stuff ready for homeschool. I'm like the most far ahead preparing for homeschool that I've ever done, that I, than I've ever been before at this time. We don't start again for a couple weeks, three weeks maybe? Yeah, maybe three weeks. And I have all of our curriculum and all of our lessons planned and printed and ready all the way up till December. On December we're gonna do something different. So I have like September, October, and November all ready to go. Like oh, I'm so excited, so stoked. You know it's a hot day when you wash a saddle pad, hang it up to dry, and it's dry like in an hour.
These are all the things that Gabby had at the house that I had to bring down. So their plan for the so she cleaned up her boots. She's still wearing winter boots. Like that's just crazy to me. But it's been hard to shop. We only actually have like one store kind of option, and they didn't have any boots there for her. There is one more store. We might go there. I have to go there to pick up some supplement. I pick up every couple of months. So if we go there, maybe she'll get new boots. So those are her favorites. Those are the ones she likes. She is going to wear this Ogilvy saddle pad. I washed it. It has a little bit of dirt down there, but I mean, it's just going to get dirty again. It's her, it's one of her favorite saddle pads. It can take forever to get ready. Look at this, you guys. They're just sitting there staring at each other. Like, I love them. I did not think I was ever going to love them so much, but look at how adorable they are. Oh, I wish you guys could meet them. Like we've had kittens before. We've had cats before. These are really nice. Beautiful, healthy kittens. Look at him. He's like, pet me now. Pet me next. And she's like, don't, don't do it. <laughs> don't leave me. And he's watching my hand and he's like, do it to me now. <laughs> okay. And your turn's over. Okay. Oh, you're such a love bug. So when we caught them, he was not the friendliest. Oops. She was the friendliest. Now everybody that comes here is in love with him because he's just such a love. You're such a love. He looks huge on the camera, but he's actually, watch if I put the camera back, he's actually just a tiny, tiny little guy and she's extra tiny. But if I put the camera up close, he looks like a grown up cat. I didn't think he was that cute before, but you're getting to be such a cute boy. Listen, you guys hear it? Yeah, he's such a love. Oh, it's going to be an expensive winter because he's going to get fixed. She's going to get fixed. And so is Molly. Three pets to get fixed. And who's over here making all the noise? I thought for sure it'd be Willow. But you want lunch? Do you want lunch, googly eye girl? You want lunch? It's a kitten. It's a kitten that you smell. Willow's like, if you're not going to feed me, I'm going to find my own food. But she, came, she comes running when she sees the food is here. She's like, it's lunch time. Oh, mean girl. So this is what it looks like. Ruby's like, do you want to be my friend? And they're like, ha ha, you will never catch us. <laughs> you're so cute. Man, they're cute. Man, you are such a cute baby. I can't even stop myself. He's looking like a beautiful cat. Yes, you are. You can't catch any mice from up there, though. Yes, she's like a Gracie girl. I love a bald face. I love it. Ah! <laughs> I'm like trying to hide and the kitten's following me back here. All Ruby's following you. me. You glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever. So free, oh my sweet baby. Whose cat is more flexible? Sophie's or mine? <laughs> Lexican. Lexican flex. Oh, well, look at him. He's trying hard. Now that the camera's on, he's like, look at me. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at you. <laughs> She's like, let's dance. Ollie loves to snuggle. Yeah, he's a snuggle Ooh. bug. Gross. Ooh. Coronavirus. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. But anyways, uh, right. so now that the hay's not in this room, but we'll be slowly transitioning the right. kittens out of this room. And then right. we'll be slowly transitioning the chickens in this room. Bye. And I know it'll be gross and disgusting and they're going to smell up the place, but... We want to keep our chickens this winter and we figured out that the only like real way that we're going to be able to do this is to keep them in the stall. We're going to put lots of bedding down. We're going to clean it. Like, I think it'll be okay. As it is right now, our chickens hardly smell. I feel like it's time for Gracie and Willow to meet the pool. They don't seem the least bit alarmed. They're like, leave me alone. I'm having lunch. So uh, we have taken the ponies to the lake before in previous videos. 
So they know water. They've been in the water. They're just scared because it's a different thing. Yeah. They're just scared because suddenly it's something new in their, in their little paddock here. Good girl. Let her smell it. Let her put her face in. It's just water. It's just like a little water trough. You might have to walk through it. Gracie's like, yep, do it to her, don't do it to me. And the boys are nowhere to be seen. Sophie likes to put it on her nose and say, hey, it's just water, pony. See those eyeballs? The best person to do this with Willow is Sophie. The pony. The slow way is the fast way with horses. Gabby's all ready. She's a fashion statement. Who do you guys think is going to be the first one in the pool? Is it going to be Gracie or is it, is it going to be Gracie or is it going to be Willow? This used to be our spookiest pony, you guys, and it's not anymore. Good girl. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. I feel so free, oh my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost, no I was so stuck I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up cause nothing was changing But with you She's like there's no way in heck I'm going in that thing it's so clear and now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you... Silver lines the halter brand. Gabby likes this kind because there's no hooks, like there's no holes, you just slide it through like this so it's adjustable. You can put it on like so many different size horses. It's a bit big on her, but she loves it. She loves it. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby. She almost went in. Here. Oh, don't tell Gracie that. She will go in that pool just to grab the treats from Sophia. Uh-oh, that one's for you, Gracie. Our water's dirty already. And I think to myself, and I'm thinking out loud, we won't need nothing else for the rest of our time. And I know it so well, I will always be by your side. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. I feel so free, oh my sweet baby. Look at Gracie, she loves a hose. Look at her, our brave girl. Look at her. She's our best pony with the water. Girl, she deserves a treat for that. The whole gang's here now. There's not much happens on the day-by-day -day farm without an audience. Big audience. They're like, if she turns the hose toward us, get ready to run. <laughs> Look at her, she seems to really like it. That's amazing. You guys know we struggle with our horses and, and washing them. Yeah, she's getting her nose going. Can you guys see that? She's like, I'll groom you. Thank you so much for spraying me. Well, now we know that like we wasted a whole summer. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. So free, oh my sweet baby. 20 minutes later, and Grace is still over here loving the water. We should have taken her to the beach. You 
be loving it. That was a cool thing. You're off. I always knew she's gonna be our star pony. I don't know what's happening over there. Uh oh. Finn and Chino are either playing, yeah, playing or taking off each other's fly masks. Like they're so kind to each other. Oh, don't be doing that at the fence. See, and then Storm gets mad and he's like, you better get going. It is still so early in our horsey journey. Like we're so early in our journey. We have so much to learn, but I've like been paying attention and watching like the herd dynamics and it really fascinates me so much. Get off my legs. She's licking my legs. I'm afraid she's gonna bite me. I've been watching the herd dynamics and I watched this super spooky, afraid of everything, run as soon as she hears a sound, horse, turn it pony, turn into this amazing wonder pony that is not afraid of anything. She trusts us, she is happy in her environment. And I think that's amazing. And last night when my son came with his friends, they went out into the field to see the ponies, the horses, Storm was in his own field and usually Finn is really shy of strangers and won't come up to them. And last night I saw Finn walk up to my son and his friends and put his head into my son's hands and let my son rub him. He closed his eyes. He looked so peaceful and happy. And I think like, even though horses belong in herds and even though herd behavior is something that has to happen, it's the same as like in human life. When kids go to school, bullies happen. When people go to work, like, it's, it's a rough world out there for horses and people alike. But when I've seen it so many times, when you find yourself in the right environment, horses and people, how it can turn your whole life around and change who you are. Like, go out there and find the place that you're meant to be. Don't just go someplace and be there because it's the easiest thing. Go out there and find where you're meant to be. It took being by myself at home with my kids after I quit my job to figure out what made me happy and what made me feel peaceful. Like, it can be so much more simple, you guys. Just go out there and find your community, find your place, find your happy place. So you can thrive like Gracie. You could be a wonder pony. We could all be wonder ponies. Don't you know that you're beautiful?